talk? Sure. Uh, to start the brine, you add two cups of white vinegar and two and a quarter cups of white sugar. Next, you'll add two teaspoons of mustard seed, one teaspoon of ground turmeric, and one teaspoon of celery seed. Then you'll bring your brine to a boil. For how long? Uh, you just gotta bring it to a boil and combine all the ingredients. Do we need to stir this? Yes. We'll be back when it starts boiling. To prep your vegetables, you slice your onions, peppers, and squash into thin slices, or however thick you want. And then you cover in a quarter cup of salt, and stir occasionally, and leave it sitting for two hours until all the liquid gets strained off. To prep your jars, put them on a cookie sheet in that 200 degree oven for 25 minutes and then you'll put your lids just like that and you put your lids in a pot of water and let it simmer until you're ready once your two hours is up go ahead and drain all the liquid out of the vegetables lot of water come off. The more you get out the better. Whenever your brine and vegetables are ready and your jars have baked at 200 for 25 minutes, go ahead and pull them out. Set them in your prep area. Now that you got your hot jars out, go ahead and get your vegetables over there and start scooping them into the jars using your jar funnel. leave about a quarter inch to a half inch of a gap at the top. Go ahead and use your poker to push it down and pack them as tightly as you want. And you feel filling all the jars until you're out of vegetables.
Once you get all your vegetables in the jars, we'll go ahead and fill it up with brine. Again, you just fill it up till there's about a quarter inch of air space at the top. Grab our measuring device. And it should be on that second notch right there. So we can put a little bit more brine in there. Go ahead and fill up the other jar. While you're brine in your jars, we'll go ahead and grab some tongs and get out these hot lids. Be real careful with them because they're very hot. Set them on top of the jars. I'll crank them down here in a minute. They're very hot. Watch your fingers. Take you a towel or a glove. Crank them down as tight as you can get them. And the brine is also very hot, so this part is very hot. And then immediately, once you get them cranked down, all right, now that we got the lids on, we'll go ahead and grab them and flip them up upside down let them set there um, I usually let them set there overnight and, and they'll be done If you want to learn how to make pickled squash zucchini in glass jars, let me know in the comments below. I will make an upload of the uh, of that. I made eight jars so far. So if y'all want to learn how to make them too, comment down in the comments and I will upload a video on that topic. I always just want to add that in. Now let's get right into the video.